Fala galera, Comic Con Experience 2016 acabou de acabar e a gente fez várias entrevistas lá com convidados internacionais e nacionais super importantes pro meio dos quadrinhos. Teve Brian Azarello, os irmãos Moon e Bar, o Frank Quitely, o Simon Bisley, o Jay Lee, vários caras assim... E a gente então foi soltando isso ao vivo ao longo dos dias e tá compilando nesses dois vídeos, dois papos, pra mostrar pra vocês que não estavam acompanhando a gente durante a feira. Seja porque vocês estavam lá, seja porque vocês estavam aproveitando pra fazer alguma outra coisa. Espero que vocês aproveitem esses vídeos e cá está a primeira leva de entrevistas. Fala pessoal, a gente tá aqui na Comic Con andando por aqui e a gente cruzou com ninguém menos do que o senhor Brian Azarello. Ah, ok, let's go. You're fine? And, well, we were walking here and we just met Mr. Brian Azarello, one of the greatest writers. And <laughs> what can I say? I'm a big fan. <laughs> and you're just, you just look like I always thought, uh, Aris in your Wonder Woman during the new 52. Was it based on your appearance? No. You'll have to ask Cliff. Not, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't put that in a script. Cliff, Cliff's a funny guy, the <laughs> artist. He's a funny guy. He probably did it just to mess with you, no? Yeah, yeah, he did. I'm sure he did it to mess with me. And what are you thinking of our convention here in Brazil? It's your first time here? It's my first time here. I just got here. It's huge. This is, uh, this is big. Yeah. This year, we might uh, get to the number one, I think, in public. Uh, Comic Con there in San Diego, it's around 180, and pe uh, people who organize are expecting around 200,000 this year. That's a lot. It's a lot of fans, that's great. It's good to hear. Are you staying in Articelli this year? No. no. No, I'm just wandering around, seeing what's what. It's, it's really impressive. It's a good show. Thank you very much for your time. I'll let you walk and enjoy the convention. All right, take it easy, man. Thank you very much. Fala pessoal, estamos aqui na Comic Con, no Art Selling, junto do Jay Lee, um dos maiores artistas a trabalhar nos quadrinhos nos últimos 15, 20 anos. Hi Jay, uh, it's, is it your first time here in Brazil? First time. Yeah. Yeah. What are you thinking of our Comic Con here? Uh, it's, I heard it was really big and it's, uh, it is indeed massive. And, well, uh, one of your works that I really, really like is Osman Dias. And how was working with a character created by Alan Moore and everything? Uh, so, such an iconic character for comic books. It was an honor. Uh, I grew up reading The Watchmen. I never imagined that one day I'd be drawing him. Um, it, was, uh, it was a once in a lifetime experience. Which works, which characters you most like in your career, like what you have done? And if there is something you still didn't work with and you would like love to do it. You know, my dream was to draw Batman and Superman. And I got a chance to draw both of those characters in one book. Uh, so now it's whatever I do now is just it's just for fun. Um, I've, I've gotten to live out my dream and draw my favorite characters. How is it for you to work with your wife? You're always drawing, she's coloring. You two work together at this more or less the same time. How does it? How is it? Uh, it's it's a great uh, it's it's great to be working with someone so closely. Um, she knows exactly um, what I'm thinking, and so I don't even see it as I'm drawing it and she's coloring it. I feel like it's our art, and it's a it's it's a combination of uh, of both of us. It's not like a distinguished work between a part is you, a part is her. It's more mixed. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're staying here all the all the days until Sunday. Uh, yeah, I'm here till Sunday. And you'll be here at Artis Alley. So if anyone can come here, to get, take a sketch or a sign. Yeah, I'll be here all weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fala galera, a gente tá aqui no Artist LA com Peter Cooper, super famoso por causa das tiras do Spy vs Spy na Magic e que ganhou 
esse ano o prêmio Eisner. Vou fazer umas perguntinhas para ele. Mr. Cooper, it's your first time here in Brazil, no? It's my fourth. Your fourth time? Yes. Really? I came to Sao Paulo, went to uh, Recife, uh -huh. Rio, and Belo Horizonte. This is your first time in Sao Paulo, no? Second. Second time. How do you think of it so far? Well, not so far, you've been here a lot of times. Yeah, um, I, uh, I turned left at Mexico. This year, you just launched an, an author book. Now you wrote it yourself and created all the characters, etc. That won the Eisner. How was it for you? It's like the greatest uh, award you can have in comics. So, now, the greatest award I could have is if Donald Trump would leave the United States forever. Um, but I was very honored to get that award, as much as anything because I hope it will bring more people to my work. Your work is always uh, taught a lot about politics and stuff like that. So you are anti-Trump, you would like, to, would you like to have seen Hillary winning? No. Or it was like the, the lesser of two evils? Um, it was much lesser of two evils. Um, I would have liked to have seen any candidate who didn't think that climate change was a hoax. And, um, It's complicated, of course, because our system is broken, kind of like it is here, yeah. and how it is around the world. So we're dealing with some very serious problems that we're going to have to address at a much faster rate with Donald Trump. Do you think about trying to write comics to call attention to these issues now? More comics about it? Of course, that's all I'll do. I, I work on this magazine, World War III, it's about This issue is about climate change. It's about Donald Trump. It's about everything that's going on. My main interest is to use my art as a way to communicate my experience. And my experience, um, especially now, is about uh, a lot of issues that need to be addressed or will be in big trouble. Well, thank you very much for your time, Peter. I hope you enjoy your time here at the Com. And I hope for the both of us and everyone that maybe the political scenario around the world gets better little by little. Thank you very much, Peter. Fala galera, estamos aqui na Comic Con sexta-feira, junto com Simon Beasley. Quando eu faço essa introdução, ele está aqui fazendo alguns sketches, fazendo algumas assinaturas. Esse grande artista inglês, uma arte icônica. Vocês, todo mundo sabe como é. Is it your first time here in Brazil, Sam? Yes. You, you never came here for a rock concert with your band or anything like that? No. Why didn't you ever do it? Didn't you want to? Because. Because. I'm joking. Yeah. No, uh, that's my first time in Brazil. Fucking awesome show, man. A really good show. It reminds me of San Diego. Very much like a San Diego show. You know, you know it really does. Um, yeah, first time here. I've been... They wanted... Uh, the, They wanted, they wanted me to come to Brazil for a long time. I thought, man, it's so far away. But I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll come down. So, yeah, I'm here, I'm happy. You still live there in England now? You work from there? I still I work from England, yeah. Your band is everyone from England, from your town? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been playing with bass with well, them? I've been, I've been, uh, well, I've been playing bass about four years, but I used to play the drums. Uh -huh. I played the drums for, for 30 years. I was sick and tired of like, having to take the drum kit apart. Put it in the van, take it out of the van, put the jacket up, take it down, da da da. And then, when you finish, all the band goes to the bar, and I'm fucking around like a dick, picking the drums out, put them in the van. Do you <coughs> help your drummer? No. Yeah. Huh? Do you help your drummer like you? Oh no! <laughs> I tell him get a bass. You just. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. No, so, 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 I'm, in, I'm interested in bass. It's the same kind of thing, rhythm. I'm not interested in scales and and learning how to play. I just play whatever sounds fucking good to me, you know? Music or art or like drawing, do you have like a, a preference? No, you love both of them. Uh, if I could do one or the other, I might do the same, both the same thing. I wish I had more time for, for, for music, I think. If I, I think if I if I retired, I'd just do music in the studio. I just do art sometimes when I want to, you know? Let me ask you about one specific story I really, really like of Hellblazer. You had the honor of drawing a voodoo doll of Sid Vicious yeah. to help Constantine Punk 
fight against the Conservative Party. Yeah. Please tell me, how was it? Uh, well, I love Sid. I grew up with Sid Vicious when I was a little, when I was a teenager. So I love the Sex Pistols. I was a punk rocker then. And so, you know, to get the chance to draw Sid was, was amazing. So I really put my heart and soul into it, you know. And because he, he died, you know, unfortunately he went too far. And uh, he was, a, he was a, a tragic character, really. It's very sad what happened to him. So I was, I was a bit heartfelt when I was drawing. I kind of felt some passion, you know, some, some feelings, you know. Did you discuss anything with Peter Milligan about the story you helped with the script? No, or no, just no, the no, no, no. Peter Milligan, he just writes it and it's fucking cool. I love working with Peter Milligan because it's always interesting. And it always surprises me what happens, you know, because I don't, I don't read the script. I draw the script, I draw it from the beginning, and I read the script and I draw it as I, as I, as I go. go I read it as I go, yeah, so I'll, I'll go at the end and go, what, that really, this happens? No. <laughs> I go, God, my Constantine, he's such a bastard, you know. That must be a, a real good experience for you to draw. Really different from reading it, all of it, and then going to draw. You, you get to surprise yourself well, you in do, the, during the work. And it keeps you fresh, because... You're, you're not getting bored of it. You're always interesting. You know, enjoy, you, know, you know, you know. It's always interesting, isn't it? Like I hate doing fucking. I don't do thumbnails. I just draw the fucking thing straight away. You know. And you got really famous working for Heavy Metal, then with Judge Dredd in 2000 AD, yeah, yeah. and then we went to the Sea Vertigo. There is there a character you always loved the best working with? Um. Oh yeah, Lobo, because it's fun. Lobo. I always enjoy doing Lobo because he gets crazy. And it's, and it's, it's more my personality. I enjoy doing some crazy shit. And you're not you're not confined to uh, any real rules, you know. But then again, I did Hellblaze was fun, always fun. I always like what, 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 a bit of scripts. Constantine, I, I believe you must have drawn stuff that you could identify yourself yes, with yes. in the case of Constantine. Yes, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, what's nice about the Pete Milligan story is about the human beings and, and the nature of human beings, you know. And uh, he's a very observant guy. He's a very good writer. I mean, I keep saying a good writer, but he is. He's uh, powerful, you know, powerful stuff in there. I'll leave you to your fans. Thank you very much for your time, Simon. No worries, man. My pleasure, man. All right. Cheers. Pleasure. Fala, galera. Estamos aqui na Comic Con com Lildrai Sinai. I'm trying to, eu tô tentando aprender o nome dele, que é um pouco complicado. Ele é um artista turco que vem trabalhando tanto para Marvel quanto para DC e agora tá produzindo também um material próprio. Vamos ver o que ele tá achando aqui. You're right. Yes. Sorry about your name. First of all. No, no, thanks for having me. Uh, how is it to start working with both Marvel and DC? It's somewhat recent that you started to get like big characters like the Iron Man, the Metallic Man. How is it for you? Well, it's fun because I'm also a comic book fan, so it's working in the industry is like a dream come true. So uh, I started working at Image Comics and then DC Comics. So uh, lately I did some work at Marvel. That's how it works, yeah. You got to work with one of, uh, I don't know, the biggest legends in comic book industry, it's Len Wayne, yeah. the one of the creators of Swamp Thing. How was the process? Was how was to work with someone that I believe, as a comic book fan, you must have admired before? Yeah, uh, I, we didn't interact interact too much with Len, uh, but uh, when the project was starting, uh, we talked, we mailed each other from time to time, and uh, we worked in uh, Marvel style method, like like the old days. Uh, you know, he didn't give me a full script, so uh, yeah, it's Len Wayne, so. I was so excited when I was, you know, working on the Metal Man. And so I'm, I'm really glad that I had a chance to work with a legendary name. Did you ever imagine you were going to come to Brazil to a Comic Con? Well, this is my second time. Here in Brazil? No, yeah, in yeah, in Brazil, yeah. Uh, I was in FIC in Belo Horizonte uh, three years ago. And how are you? How are you thinking of our country those both times you came here? Well, what do you think I, I of it? I don't feel like a stranger in Brazil because we, we have so much in common. Uh, our both cultures, Turkish and Yeah, uh, you know, the people are like so warm and welcoming. Uh -huh. So I have good friends here also. So when I, when I come here, it's always you know, fun. You feel like home, you feel like yeah, you're yeah, welcome. I don't feel like a stranger, yeah. yeah. 
And uh, besides that, uh, I heard you are, you started working on your own creator comic book. Is it going to be for Image or? or? Uh, well, I don't have any goals right now, but I just have a story that I want to tell. Uh, I'm planning as a it as a graphic novel, uh, but first I'm going to publish it in Turkey, and then I will think about it. To you know, if someone is interested, I'm gonna print it somewhere else. Can you tell us a little bit about the story you're planning, or you're keeping it secret for now? Well, I I don't talk talk about it too much, but it's like finding yourself, and it's about a journey, and it's a fantasy story, not a superhero book. So, it's fun. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure to have you here with us in the home, and I hope you enjoy your time. Obrigado. Thank you very much.